the Battlefront Network, giving you your daily dose of Battlefront content. Hello everyone and welcome, you are watching me and Johnny today and we have some awesome news about the DLC for Star Wars Battlefront, so what have we got today Johnny? Well, we've got some really awesome, awesome, awesome news, and it concerns the season pass. They've finally announced what we're going to be receiving in the first expansion pack in the season pass, and that is, of course, Star Wars Battlefront, the Outer Rim. Yeah. And it says on the Star Wars Battlefront page here that you'll get to fight among the factories of Solust and battle within Jabba the Hutt's palace on Tatooine in Star Wars Battlefront Outer Rim Digital Expansion. You so, know, when they announced Battlefront, I didn't actually... I, I thought they would never put Jabba's Palace in there. I mean, we were all saying we wanted it to come back yeah. in the Battlefront, but I never thought they'd actually do it, but now they are, so which is awesome. So, yeah, this this is awesome. So it seems we're going to get two new maps by the sounds of things. We're going to get an mm -hmm. industrial solace one. When there, there is a beautiful picture of it on the website. I'm going to so throw awesome. that on the screen now. And there is also, and there's also a picture... I think they, they've made cover up for it, but they've just used yeah, that Tatooine like screenshot of Jabba's Palace Yeah. Um, for the, the cover art of the, the expansion. The actual picture of the, like, the little factory place, if they've done that, if that's on Solist, you know, I wouldn't mind you know, if they ever added a Clone Wars type thing in a Battlefront yeah. sequel or as a DLC. That'd I mean, cool, that, that looks like Mustafar, Mustafar to me. Yeah. It does look very similar to Mustafar, and it's it so looks cool. like they've taken a little bit of inspiration from Mustafar. Yeah. There's a lot, if, if this is concept art for the map, there is a lot of lava. <laughs> so this is good. Oh. We we like lava. Well, the Star um, Destroyers are quite close to the ground. They are as well. And oh, I, yeah. I really do hope this is concept art for the game. Yeah. Um, or for, for the map that we're going to be receiving. Um, so it says, explore new locations, blast enemies in the smelting factory or along the industrial pipes and platforms of Solust or fight through Jabba's throne room and sail barge garage on Tatooine. So... The sail barge is going to be available. Apparently, he's he's gonna he's gonna have a garage with the sail barge in it. I mean, <laughs> what, what what are your thoughts on that one, Tom? I don't know. Well, the big question for me is: Are we going to be able to see Jabba like we could in Battlefront Two? Like, I I I'd in the love of the room? I'd love Jabba to be in his throne room and I the think rancor that'd be awesome. as well. And the rancor, if the rancor oh makes goodness. an appearance, I'm happy. <laughs> they they. I mean. That's that's just the ultimate fan service. Putting putting the rancor in there would be the ultimate fan service. In his throne room, he had like lots of different species of people, like alien, you know, alien type things in there. Would they be in there whilst the battle's going on, or would it just be like in a kind of a barren room, like it was in Battlefront Two? I would, I, would we see I AI really type don't know. things running around, or would they not be there? Because obviously the Ewoks on Endor. Yeah, there is. Um, I'm I'm sure Dice will work their graphical magic and. <sighs> give us something glorious they may tease the rancor then we may not actually be able to go into the rancor pit oh. but they may tease the rancor i hope we're actually able to go into the rancor pit and so get fun. killed by an ai rancor um if Just pandemic can do it amazing. <laughs> exactly if pandemic can do it then why can't dice yeah in um, 2016 exactly in 2016 um tom i want you to take the next one but before you do mm-hmm this 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 next section we're going to talk about is of course the heroes they are the two heroes that people have been pointing out all over the internet yeah. on that on that piece of jabba the hut it was rather art. obvious so so uh, and it was kind of obvious and this confirms it now so who are our two new heroes well the two new heroes are greedo and neo numb now obviously you'll know greedo from uh the, the new hope and he obviously he was talking to han solo so it's amazing to see him in there and of course uh, his species, what, what's his species called? Uh, Rodian. That's he is it, a Rodian. That's the one. Uh, obviously, we get the head, the actual head for that to put on uh, your character, but now to be able to play as Greedo himself, that is fantastic. And also Neom Nun, which is brilliant. Um, and I wasn't, I was quite skeptical of whether Dice would actually add these two in, because they are very iconic, aren't they? Obviously. But they are quite iconic, but they are sort of. You know, uh, very like secondary characters. Yeah, they're not, they're expect, not main you characters. Them, would so. you to be, you know, and yeah. kind of heroes? But whatever abilities they have, it's gonna be really interesting to see that. Yes, it is. Um, so that that's really cool, and I I think the characters look awesome, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what a bit kind of abilities they get. Because again, this this article they've posted on their website. It doesn't have all the information in there, so no, we don't know it's what the Solus map looks like. We don't know what Jabba the Hutt Jabba the Hutt, Hutt's palace map looks like. Um, we don't know what abilities the heroes are going to have. Um, so, so yeah, it's it's very it's very brief and it's very subtle. 
but it's enough to get people excited for the new expansion. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we, somehow we can play Greedo against Han Solo. That so would cool be so mode. cool. Like, I, 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 you know what? I think it'll be available if they, if it's the same, if it's the same hero option system as yeah. the one that's currently available. You will be able to have Han Solo versus Greedo, oh, and I'm so sure cool. you'll be, I'm sure you'll be able to do that in hero battles as well. Yeah, um, in single player or in a, a co-op online co-op so that's pretty cool um so the next little bit of information is of course the new mode that's coming tom do you want to tell us a little bit more about this i do well it's actually called extraction and a little uh, thing underneath it says rebel forces have entered some of the most dangerous places in the outer rim in order to extract a valuable shipment of resources now they must bring the shipment to their transport ship before time runs out the empire has arrived to stop them from reaching the extraction point and obviously, there is no information about really what will go on um, in terms of the game modes and the mechanics and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm guessing they're going to reveal that close to the date um, of maybe the release date of the the Outer Rim DLC pack yeah. or maybe later on in a few weeks' time. Uh, it but it sounds, sounds very interesting. It sounds very interesting. It sounds to me a bit like Capture the Flag. Yeah. It does sound very Capture the Flag-esque. And right behind it is a piece of concept art of yep. Jabba's palace. Now, after seeing this piece of concept art, I'm thinking maybe the battle takes place outside of the palace, and we don't actually get to play inside the palace. It seems that because you can see the little garage there with the yeah. power art, the thing in. So, and if and if you remember the previous piece of con- uh, piece of concept art, which sort of teased Greedo and Nia Num, yeah. that was also a battle going on outside, outside the palace as well. Yeah. So something tells me. We're not going to get to play inside the palace, or maybe there will be a map for the inside of the palace and, and the outside, outside of the palace. Maybe, maybe they'll treat us to that. But something tells me we are going to be playing out uh, outside of Jabba's palace. Which to be is fair, that would be really cool because we can see all the detail of outside. Yeah, I mean, it it is really cool, but it is slightly disappointing with <laughs> the potential for the rancor and actually seeing Jabba. So, but uh, again, it's it's still a pretty cool looking piece of concept art. Um, and the last little tidbit of information we have is new weapons. Yeah. And new and new star cards. Now, now this is really exciting. These are these are two guns I've personally never heard of. Yeah, I have so to, do, to be honest. Sh- shame on shame on us for not actually <laughs> knowing what these guns are. But it says become more powerful on the battlefront. Arm yourself with the new Relby V10 rifle and DT12 blaster pistol. And collect and equip the scatter gun, the oxys grenade, and adrenaline stim star cards. Ooh. Now, uh, I have no idea how those two guns are going to play. I think me and Tom are going to jump onto Wikipedia after this video <laughs> yes, and have a look at those guns um, <laughs> and see see where they've been w- wielded in the Star Wars universe and how they come into the Star Wars universe. As for the star cards, there is one that really stands out to me, and that's the deoxys grenade. I was just thinking which, that, yeah. If we remember from the Phantom Menace, the Trade Federation used Deoxys on Obi Wan and Qui Gon Jinn uh, oh. whilst they're whilst they're on the Trade Federation ship right at the start of the film. Oh, okay. It's the Deoxys gas, so I think it's a poison grenade. Whoa, that'll be oh, that'd be cool to see. Oh, I'm liking that. Yeah, I I think we've got a poison grenade, which is really really cool. The scatter gun is interesting. It sounds like a shotgun. Yeah. It sounds like some sort of shotgun, so maybe we'll get some sort of shotgun. And as for Adrenaline Stim cards, having played... um, uh, What game is it? Having played uh, Titanfall, there is a stim in that which sort of makes you run faster. Oh, yeah. So I I think it might be a sprint. Yeah, increased movement is what I so so we sort of torn the star cards down. We have no idea about those guns <laughs> though. We may have to make a, another video on that one. Yeah. But that is that is all the news to do with the season pass for well the 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 first expansion for the season pass. That is the outer room expansion. That's just the first one as well. Yeah, that is the first one. One of four because of course we're also going to get Cloud City <gasps> in the second one. one, Death the Death Star in the third one. And then in the fourth one, it's completely unknown. We don't know what we're going to get at all. So it could be anything. And that one's due to come out in 2017. So who knows what we're going to get? It's um, all interesting stuff. It's just... Oh. It really is. It's fantastic. So what like, what, what are your th- initial thoughts on this, on all of this, Tom? I'm very happy, to be fair. I'd like to be able to play these two new heroes and to be able to actually go in Jabba's Palace. 
uh, with the potential of seeing Jabber himself and the Rancor. So I'm very happy about that. And I'm, I'm just happy that they're extending the, you know, f- taking things from further out in the Star Wars universe that maybe things like, obviously we haven't seen these guns, me and you both don't really know what they are. Um, it's bringing things into our, you know, our, our view of what we might not have seen um, really if we hadn't actually played the game, you know what I mean? So it's really nice exactly. taking things from Mm. From the film, yeah, it's it's like they're pulling stuff from an expanded universe. Yeah, the uh, it's either the Legends one or the Canon one. I, I'm pretty sure that most of the guns they pulled from the Legends expanded universe. So it is, it is still, they are still using that, which is nice to know. It's nice to know they're still using stuff from the Legends expanded universe in in the current media for Star Wars, which is really cool. But yeah, it's it's a really 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 cool expansion pack and i cannot wait to play it so that's the news today guys thanks for watching i hope you're as happy as we are about this dlc let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and also stay tuned uh, for some really really awesome and surprising uh, new things about the channel coming your way i'm really excited about those things tom there there uh-huh. are some there are some big things coming some big yep. changes coming and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy what we've got in store for you. But that's that's uh, all for today. Really big news flash for you guys. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and give it a like. Okay. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Star Wars content from us. And as always, I've been Carbon Shadow. And I've been Tom. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. <laughs>